Welcome to Let's Play The Old Republic. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Yeah, I'm behind the curve a little. It took a while to get this game and get it downloaded. And 25 gigabytes on a only so-so internet connection. I'm a little sick, but I am very excited to be finally starting this game. What's our allegiance? Ow. I usually play as the good guys, so... Enough is enough. Republic is the galaxy's only hope for peace and justice. It must not fall. The Sith Empire exterminates everything in its path. The enemy has no remorse for the worlds it destroys. Everything we value will die unless we hold the line. This war isn't about politics or resources. We fight for survival. For freedom. For the Republic! Every battle, there are fewer of us to keep up the fight. Those who remain pay a heavy price, but we know the Force is with us. 
you will never surrender. And we are not alone. The long night is finally ending. As tempting as it is to go with your standard Jedi Knight options, or the Dashing Smuggler, I have taken a real liking to the Trooper class. Oh, and by the way, my voice is going to be kind of weird because I, I think I'm down with something, or it's just because it's in the winter. So I sound like even more of a dork than usual, so keep that in mind. Public Troopers are just... Total badasses, that's pretty much their ammo. I'll let you pause and read this stuff. If you wish. Honor, duty, defense of the Republic. There you go. There's your There's your job basically. I know everyone else in the universe is playing the old Republic. Well then I'm gonna join to choose from. You got your human, cyborg, the Zabrak, and the Marillion. Miri Allen. Miri Allen. It's not too hard to say, I suppose. Anyway, that's who we are. We're the Republic. And uh, this character is being voiced by Jennifer Hale, aka Commander Shepard, which is just about the most awesome thing ever. I've already messed with the sliders and stuff, so I won't take 40 minutes to make my decision. Hopefully. I'm glad they have hair customization options that aren't all just horrible. This is an interesting style. This would be better to use the arrows then. And another really short look. It would make sense, but. <laughs> Mohawk, God help me. We could go really weird, like just completely off the friggin' wall. I've always been a fan of this style of hair. Maybe... Yeah, you know what, this is good. There's a bunch of fun tattoos that we can play with and adjust as we see fit. That one looks fine. You can also give your character an amazing variety of facial scarring. Although for me, I don't really like the whole face just being completely obliterated. I think that looks fine. It's got a nice look to it. There's also a variety of faces you can choose from. I'm always nervous around the character creation, both because you can waste a million years on this, and also if you mess up and make a mistake and then realize 30 hours in that you hate your character, that sucks. Body types. Thin, medium, thick. Meaty thick. I think I'm going with the big, bulky look, yeah. Even though... The advanced class I'm going No, I'll be using an assault cannon. So that makes sense. And we're gonna roll up a name that's not terrible. I had one really good one in my little test run, but... I can't forget it, and it was... One is it's pretty 
pretty awesome because it's long. I'm going to hit the random button until I find one that looks okay, since I'm pretty much... I've got everything else about the way I like it, except the eye color. I'll probably change that to blue. There we go. I don't know. It would be weird to cut just for this. I got one that started with a V and it, it looked really alieny and Guillermo. Yeah. There's some Star Wars names that are good and there's some that are not. Gloper. Sitting here on the random button allows me to just... Yeah, I'll be right back. There we go. And then we go. I hope you enjoy the LP, guys. I'll do my best to shut up when the story is talking. I was going to be playing the Old Republic anyway, so I figured I might as well try recording it. Hope you guys enjoy the LP. kid? Nervous? You know, you're the first new entry to Havoc Squad in some time. I'll fight the enemies of the Republic with everything I've got, sir. No need to call me sir. We're in the field. You can lose the formality. I'm Lieutenant Bex Kolos, but everyone in Havoc calls me Gearbox. We're a tight unit. 
You'll like it with us. We'll tell you why we're here. The Separatists have nabbed the Republic bomb off a down transport, a series bomb. One of those orbital strike numbers. There's no telling where these grimy bushwhackers have hidden the thing. They have popular support and hideouts everywhere. Finding this bomb won't be easy. No mission is too tough for Havoc Squad. Hope you're right, kid. That bomb goes off and the whole island's one big crater. You'll get a full op brief once we reach Fort Garnick. For now, just sit back and... Code Red! We've been hit by an AP missile! And a shoulder launcher from somewhere in the village! Everyone... Oh! Driver! Driver! Blasted, he's down! Backwater Separatists aren't supposed to have armor-piercing missiles. They'll tear up every convoy that passes through here. How should we proceed, sir? Fixing things is my specialty, kid. I'm nowhere near the fighter you are. I'll stay and get this walker moving again. You'll disable the Separatist missile launchers. Understood? Oh, no problem. Understood, sir. Separatists will probably have their missile launchers piled together in a cache somewhere in the village. You can bet that cache will be heavily guarded. Find the cache, disable the missile launchers, and then double-time it back here. Got it, Sergeant? I'm on it. Good luck out there, kid. Alright, and we are officially in the game, everybody. This is a story section right here, which means this is my personal... This is Vailanthe's story. As soon as I go out there, though, that's where everybody interacts, because this is an MMO. Although I'll probably be going solo most of the time, it'll be nice to do some impromptu team-ups. Maybe get a couple friends in here. Alright. Let's get down to the village. I have played through this part before, I will admit, just a little bit. Started first character, didn't like it, deleted it. Also, I'm hoping the way I'm recording now will be easier on the computer. Stand by it. HQ, this is forward recon. Do you copy? HQ! Last. Thought I had him. Sorry, soldier. Having a little trouble here. Actually, we could use that big gun of yours right now if you'd help us out. A crack separatist militia has taken over this village. So we're not talking dumb grunts and farmers. They've got experts in there with serious jamming equipment. Any ideas how to solve that problem? I figure I've got one option left. Ask you for help. My mission is to deliver resources, but I can't report anything through this interference. I need those Separatist jammers neutralized. So if you're headed into the village anyway, maybe you can handle it for us. If you waste those Separatist jammers, report back here. I'll see if I can requisition the equipment you can use. Hooah. Piece of cake. Smugglers come here too. Ah, that's I remember. Uh, particularly, smugglers come from like around here, and there's a medical droid over here. And there you go. You can sell things to him. I wouldn't recommend buying much. Uh, save your money for right now. Well, let's get into the village proper. There's no auto attack in this game. You have to physically press the buttons to make shoot. people around right now. That's fine with me. And we have a bonus objective. There's a lot of missions you'll get like on your way to other places. Yeah, we can. 
That is for smugglers, no doubt. We got a lot of missions like kill 10 of whatever's in the area. And since we're not Jedi, we don't need to feel bad about that kind of Palpatinian slaughter. Dead. You also get a lot of, oh, while you're going to the story area, do this. Eh, it's usually not a problem to do that. Ooh, Twi'lek. Twi'lek is not an option for the troopers. Each character gets their own storyline, their own fully voiced business. Sith and Republic. You can be a light-sided Sith warrior, and you can most certainly be a fallen Jedi or something of that nature. So there is... I've got high hopes for this game, and from what I've seen so far, it's quite good. Just about done with the bonus killing separately, so I'm just gonna head for the next objective. Single Jammer Delta is over there, so. These guys out. Alright, level two. We don't have a, access to a trainer yet, which is who we'll need to talk to in order to accumulate more special abilities. But we'll get to one eventually. Go ahead and disable this one too. And then there's just one left. Alright. Knight of the Republic over here. There's a lot of a lot of people out today. That's nice, I think. Oh. You always stand to kill a few brothers. You violated. Good man. So yeah, there's some things I'll miss about being a Jedi, the lightsaber. The uh some of the philosophy of the Jedi though I will not miss at all. Perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm just killing random guys, you know, level up. Standard business. There's a lot of items you can get that are completely useless except for uh, selling. And they will tell you in the description this item is useless except for selling. It's good that they tell you that, yeah. Hey, bro! Third objective. There you go. We can return it to Sergeant Blyes for our reward. I actually don't know how to pronounce that man's name. It's through the hole there. Yes, it is. Now, I'm not... I'm not necessarily saying that... This must be small fry for this guy. I'm not saying that I'm any good at this game, I'm, I'm really not saying that, especially since, from what I've gathered, troopers actually tend to have a uh, steeper learning curve than, say, the Jedi classes. Maybe because they're not as OP. Hey, Sergeant. Glad you made it back in one piece. Me and my squad owe you one. Thanks to you, we're cutting through the Separatist interference. Be reporting back to base in no time. Here, a little something from our private stock. Watch your hide out there, hero. Oh, thank you. Now just a little bit of light. Credits, the XPs, and a rifle. Which is clearly superior to our standard issue business. So we're going to be doing some more damage. Huh. Troopers and smugglers tend to pair up a lot, especially on Lord Mantel, which is the first planet. Missile launcher cache. 
could be anywhere in here. It's it's pretty much a Objective is right here. <laughs> My amazing explosives uh, skill. Just kick it a bunch. And then we report in. Nice work, kid. You've got a talent, there's no denying that. I, however, didn't have much success. This walker isn't gonna be moving anytime soon. Don't beat yourself up. If it was possible, you'd have fixed it. Thanks, kid. Shame about the driver, though. Poor guy never had a chance. I'm gonna stay here and salvage all the goodies off this wreck before someone else does. You better head for Fort Garnick. Be sure to keep a lookout for Seps on your way to the fort. They can come at you out of nowhere. I'll keep my eyes open. Stay sharp out there. I'll see you later. Alright, we're headed to the fort, which will actually have facilities for us and we'll make the rest of the for us. And enemies just spawned in on top of us. I mean, uh, they uh, reinforced quickly. That's a uh, separatists are really good at that stuff. Some sort of stuff. Wonder if I can see when I'm gonna hit level three. It's probably something really obvious. Or not? Maybe it doesn't tell you. Because it tells me my health. Tells me my ammo. There's even an indicator for when enemies are nearby and they're alerted. Hmm. I remember there being more in here. Like, in some of these buildings, there's some good stuff. I guess we have to wait for the encounters to respond more like, uh, supplementary pieces of armor and whatnot. That is a smuggler place that's for smuggler story. I can't go in there. I am not. Yeah, I kind of emulate John Rambo, but that's kind of what the troopers are supposed to do. The troopers are actually the tanky class. There's no doubt about that. These guys ain't nothing still. Ooh. Green pillar means it's better loot than blue. Blue is your standard. An Ord Mantel commendation, which you can exchange for special goods. And some bolted greaves. That's better pants. And a Bantha Hide vest. Alright, armor rating up. By a decent amount, too. Yeesh. These bolted greaves. Improved our defense as much as actual body armor does. That's pretty cool. Die. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so glad I grew. Not being able to jump the original Knights of the Old Republic game is always bad. And once again, my amazing explosive skill, I can just shoot someone at point blank with my grenade launcher and it's fine. Kill the heavy gunner before he can have a chance to run into the holes. Did that guy just do a dodge roll or something? And in terms of KOTOR and stuff, people have made a, a lot of noise about KOTOR, either positive or negative. I don't know. Like I said, I've been enjoying it so far. It is a subscription-based game, though, and that that does chafe me a little, I will admit. Alright, can't go in that house. What is up here? That's a mildly interesting. I guess I'll check that out before I head out. Like the original KOTORs, this game relies on a large amount of hand drops, so it's important to do good purposes. You can see I do a 
small amount of area to affect damage with that grenade. So that's good. There's also a cover system in this game for certain classes, like the trick. I haven't really explored too much into that though. I'm uh, not the sort of person to uh, take cover, let's put it that way. Uh, I guess that answers my questions. It looks like I can't get back there. Maybe remote control station. That's for other classes. It's really cool to me to go into an area and know that other people are having a way different experience than I am. Yep, like, Alright, we've officially explored this village completely. Let's go ahead and get out of here. to say to us before, but since we're heading up this path... I do. Private Westner. 31st Recon out of Fort Garnick. Watch your head out there. Separatists deployed snipers in the area last week. Good snipers. Plenty of casualties between here and Fort Garnick. Those seps will shoot at anything. Who are their targets? Soldiers, vehicles, civilians, especially the refugees from all the war-torn settlements. They passed through on their way to the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Boom. Sniper bait. Most despicable thing I've ever heard. Yes, sir. 100% despicable, sir. Fort Garnick wants those snipers retired ASAP. Commander Vray even offered a week's pay to anyone who makes it happen. All right. And count me in. Damn glad to hear it, sir. If you take out the snipers, report to Commander Vray at the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Good hunting. It's on our way. Like a lot of quests. It's on our way, so I'll do it. Well, I'd probably do it anyway, because I'm doing quests like a boss. I don't know how much... Level up to three, just based on that. I don't know how many people I'm going to get to kill, though, based on... The fact that there's a... Jedi Knight here, and he's probably just been owning the sets. Huh. The sniper is the one we want. That'll learn him. There you go, they'll reach in. I like that the loot is so clearly visible. It's nice. Second sniper. Take him out. There you go. And another one of those just kill some bad guys. That's good to me. This guy seems a little tougher than average, so we're gonna invest two grenades in his death. There you go. Except the snipers are dead. Kill a few more of their grunts, this should do it. I should probably be leaving this for other people, but eh. Well, I picked the fight, might as well finish it. Uh, ah. Just experiencing a little bit of uh, connection. That'll happen sometimes. Some nicer boots. Nice, yeah, nicer than the standard issue stuff. Cool. Yeah. Definitely about time to head up to the fort. Probably kill anyone in our way, you know how that I don't know. 
There. It literally took me. Once again, I should be leaving these snipers to them. And by them, I mean random. But the encounter is pretty gen fast, so I'm not really worried. Oh, and your ammo regenerates automatically. Which is really nice. Make our way up here. Killed him. I have no clue if moving around makes me harder to hit. Possible it does. And excuse me because for like the snorting and the coughing. I don't know if I'll get better, I don't know. The fort is just up ahead. We'll leave the NPCs to deal with the other NPCs, it seems fitting. Welcome to Fort Gronick. Sergeant, good to see Havoc Squad colors in the field. Nasty fight out here. Can't tell friend from enemy half the time. Seps just take off their uniforms and blend into the villages. Still, Fort Garnick's one of the better posts. Good for training, you know. They have quality instructors at the fort? Got a combat instructor academy here, so the best of the best come from all over the planet. Head up and see Lieutenant Forrest when you get a chance. He'll help you survive in this craziness. No doubt. That is just what I am going to do, sir. Oh, and uh, something to note is... You can have titles alongside your regular name. I don't have one yet since I'm just kind of starting out. And there's oh, all sorts of people, and I'm sure you can talk to them. And Frey is where you collect your reward for the snipers. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Two minor med packs for our troubles, and we get our choice of stimulants to increase our cunning, our endurance, or our aim. They're not using the DD system, but it's pretty much. <laughs> You can pretty much figure it out easily. And I'll take the reflex stem on this one. No doubt. I'm trying to figure out how to dismiss the chat window. There we go. And the shops and stuff are right up here. Which is nice. Always remember where your class trainer is. And also, make sure to check in with the spider. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Yeah. And you can bind to the fort. Presumably when you respawn or something. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to bind. Yeah, I'm, I'm not pretending to be experienced at all. The trainer is up there for troopers. There's a bunch of special vendors. Anything a soldier needs, some things he doesn't. We can sell our regular stuff for zero credits. Oh, one credit. You know what? When times are tough like this, I will take the one credit. Nine for this, because he's a weapons vendor. I don't really mind all that much. Ten pinched magazine, eight ration packs. Can't use a blaster pistol, so. Good luck out there. There you go. Just make sure to dump your loot items periodically so your inventory doesn't get cluttered and you have a little extra cash to spend. Even Havoc Squad can learn from a veteran. <laughs> All right. 
and we have two abilities available. You can get as many abilities as you have the money for, which is really nice. You don't have to choose all the time. So we just got shot. Stay strike. sharp out there. And full auto. Full auto, you adopt a stance and you go stationary and you basically da 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 Shock Strike is a melee attack that does a ton of damage. I think it's only fitting since Jennifer Hale is voicing my character. We can give him the Shepherd Punch. I forget for how long, I forget how long I've been running this. The Smuggler story area is over there. There's all these people who will eventually talk to you about... Oh, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> More importantly, that is the Trooper Command Center. That's Havoc Squad HQ. And so that's the place where we want to go. And I think this will probably be a good place to leave it off for now. We've arrived on Ord Mantel, made it through a deadly Separatist trap, and we're here now. Thank you for watching this LP. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Hope you guys like it. See you next time.